Okay, you are in for a special treat now, but it will take a minute to set up. Joining me now are members of UW's Theater for Change. Please join me in welcoming Tika Sears, Elba Moise, Debbie Talukdar, and Sue Stahl, and the title of their talk is Acting Up, Teaching Theater for Change. Theater for Change uses interactive theater to identify and interrupt moments of oppression, to advance community dialogue, to imagine possibilities for positive change, a place called school where learning happens, a place called school where students and teachers of color feel isolated, a place called school where white people are not challenged to examine their privilege. A place called school where we want to amplify marginalized voices. A place, A place called, called school where, where this, this happens. happens. All right, class, entonces tenemos like 10 more minutes left, so please make sure you have your presentation outlines done by those 10 minutes, okay? I'm not sure, I just, this doesn't feel right. What don't you like about it? I mean, come on, a role play on slavery? I think there's better and more critical ways to discuss this, don't you? What, like a PowerPoint? So boring. But a role play could be really hurtful. Hurtful to who exactly? Well, the people of color in this class for a start? But you're not black, so why do you care so much? Where are you from, anyway? Stop! What would you do in a moment like this? What? How is that relevant? Well, I don't know. This is like US history. Maybe you just don't really understand. Oh, because I don't sound like you. Wow. Hey team, is everything okay over here? No. Yes, yes, yes Miss oh. S. Um, okay. We, we're fine. Um, we have a really good idea. Okay, que bueno. Good. Let's hear it. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to do a role play on slavery. And I'm going to play the slave master's wife. And Mandy's going to play the slave master's wife's sister. And we haven't figured out the rest of the details yet, but we're working on it. Stop. If you were a teacher in this classroom, what would you do? Okay, un momento. Role-playing slavery? Yeah. That's not a good idea. I think that's going to lead to a lot of hurt, and it can perpetuate racism and be really problematic and offensive to communities of color, but also the learners in this space, okay? So how about we brainstorm other ideas? Thank you, Mr. Puede. Uh, that's exactly what I was trying to tell them. Okay, great. So, so hey, Sarah? Sarah? I need your full attention here, please. Are hey, thank you, you calling us racist? Because I thought you were gonna think this was a really good idea. I mean, I guess you just don't care about black history as much as you say you do. Stop. How do white people react when we explicitly address issues of racism? <sighs> okay, so. First off, I want to let folks know that I care about everybody in this space, and I care about these topics. But reenacting slavery is not a good idea, and it's not going to happen in this space, because we're going to end up hurting people. We do not want to do that. So now what? We have to start all over? <sighs> you know what? It's, this is what I think is racist. I think the two of you ganging up on us and shutting down our idea at the last minute. Okay. Yeah, okay, great. Okay, okay, everybody, hold on. You two especially, I need you to breathe, and I need you to calm down, okay? I need you to try to see what we're trying to do here is talk about the issue, okay? The issue is we're not going to reenact slavery because that's problematic, and we don't want to hurt people in this space, nor do we want to re-traumatize. What about freedom of speech? Yeah. Your dad's a lawyer, isn't he, Mandy? Stop. In what ways do white people try to disempower people of color? Maybe your dad should do a guest speaker presentation on the First Amendment. Yeah, he should. I think so. 
Oh, okay, everybody, make sure you turn in your presentation outlines, please, on my desk, okay? Thanks. I need to go. It's about almost, class is almost over. I need to go to the bathroom. Stop. What do the two of us need right now? Hey, Dia, how are you feeling? <sighs> Invisible, angry. Yeah. That interaction was just awful, and I hate the idea that my group came up with. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a lot right now, and that was extremely concerning and so problematic. Um, I'm going to be talking to the principal about this issue. Would it be okay if I came with you? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll keep you posted. I think that's a great idea. Thanks, Mrs. Wade. I, um, I really appreciate you checking in. That was awful, so I'm really glad you were here. Yeah. I'll see you later, okay? okay. Thank you. This is so freaking hard! What are these characters thinking after they meet with the principal? A student and teacher came to see me today. I really want the principal to speak to Mandy and Sarah. Yo quiero apoyo. I want the principal to back me up when racismo, when racism and white privilege happens in our classroom. I didn't really see how it was racism. It was racist on so many levels. And where did it, should it matter where I come from? Every time I bring up an equity issue, she totally disregards the racism and invalidates the students' and the teachers' experiences. I really value and appreciate my teachers of color. Our school is committed to equity and inclusion. And whose job is it to do equity and inclusion? I'm so glad Mrs. Puede was here today. I'm tired of not being respected, not being seen or heard like my white colleagues. In any case, we just need to move forward. How can we move forward if I don't matter? I love teaching, but damn, I feel like my labor doesn't matter. I feel like I don't matter. I think I need to leave teaching behind. Do we care about retaining teachers of color? Do we care about supporting students of color? Who are the voices that we're not hearing? Who are the voices and people that we're not seeing? Where are the places that we're perpetuating oppression with our silence? Where are the places you hold power? Where are the places you're a gatekeeper? Are any of those places a place called school? If we cherish nuestra comunidad, our community, including those who've been pushed to the margins. What's our collective vision for a place called school? A place called school. <laughs> Where students and teachers of color are heard and seen. Where white people listen and take responsibility for racist behaviors. A place called school where everyone can engage in meaningful dialogue about racism. Donde podemos aprender where we can learn and practice disrupting oppression. <laughs>